Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about NUCAT 2025 counseling. So counseling uh, schedule is out and I have made already the video. So this is about the fees payment and documents required. So this is basically the counseling schedule you can see. So it is starting from 25th of June, Wednesday, right? For all the students, there will be two sessions, morning sessions and the afternoon session. For the morning session, rank between 1 to 500 on 25th June and in the afternoon session, rank between 500 to 1000 rank students should be present. On 26th June, which is the next day, Thursday, rank between 1000 to 1500 and in the afternoon session, rank between 1500 to 2000. So 27th June again 2000 to 2500 and 2000 to 3500 to 3000. 28th June will be 3000 to 4000 rank. 29th June there will be no counseling which will be Sunday. 30th June there will be student from 4000 to 5000 ranks. 1st July will be 5000 to 6000 ranks in the two slots. Seven, and 2nd July will be 6,000 to 7,500. So you can see now 1,500 students will be um, available for counseling in those two, two slots. 3rd July again from 7,500 to 9,000 rank. And in the 4th July is the last date of uh, attending the counseling in the morning session from 9,000 ranks to 10,000 ranks. And in the afternoon sessions, 10,000 ranks onwards, students should be present in person for the counseling. So there is no online counseling. It is the physical counseling. So hope you have got the dates and the, for the morning session, the reporting time is 8 a.m. reporting time and venue for registration and document verification also I'm going to give now. So it will happen uh, in one of those two campus. Either you can go at uh, M. Vishwasharaya Institute of Technology and MMIT in Akarkala or A block in Nite Minakshi Institute of Technology, Yalanka, Bangalore. Both the places it can you can go and registration closes 9 a.m. in the morning on that particular day. Okay. Similarly, talking for the afternoon session, reporting time will be 12 noon. When you will be same as above, either you should be present at the NITE uh, campus or the UDP campus or you should be available in the Bangalore campus. Any of the places you have to be there. Registration for the uh, afternoon uh, session will be closed at 1 p.m. every day. The mandatory document. So there is a application form which is provided by uh, NITE University. So all the students will have to basically fill the application form and I will give the link in the description box so that you can click that link, take a printout of that PDF and fill it in original and take that for the physical counseling process. So this field application is very compulsory and I will I'll give the link in the description box. Second important thing is the new cat rank card itself so you got a screenshot from the new cat portal right or the print copy that you can bring for the physical uh, counseling process the third one is the class 10th marks card so that is also required for the birth date and the other purpose so you should bring your class 10th marks card original and also bring one copy a photocopy of that marks card Moving further, you will need a class 12th marks card also original or if it is original, then you can just take a original plus a printout. But if it is not an original, you are taking from DG Locker or any other place, then internet copy needs to be attested by principal. Then only you take that, right? So you can, you have four, five days, you can attend your college and get it attested only if it is not original. If it is original got from your board, then it is okay. Transfer certificate is also also required in original conduct certificate is also original uh, required at original so these are the documents which are required at the time of admission process right so migration certificate original for required for non PUE students now the other documents are the study certificate for inclusivity category and the physical fitness certificates is also required so you need to get original form a register from from the registered medical practitioner said so they should give the fitness certificate in your name they will conduct us basic test and after that they will give you the test certificate uh, you also need a blood group certificate that also will come from the same doctor you can get the hospital or doctor the original blood group certificate next one is the aadhar card so aadhar card is original plus one photocopy of that at least should be there and then you need the photographs right so five passport size photograph is required plus 
five stamp side the smaller ones with the white background is also required so total 10 photos are required five in the passport side five in the stamp size now i'll cover the important details which is the fee payment documents right so this is uh, very important you need to carry the demand draft of 1,35,000 in favor of nitte deemed to be university and payable at mangalore so this is the way you will get admission block for your you know seats right so dd of amount 1,35,000 in the favor of nitte deemed to be university payable at mangalore and on the back of the demand draft you should also mention your name and the rank Next is the check leaf, right, from the any nationalized bank, right, which is account pay check. You have to bring the DD and the check both, right. So, check should be in the favor of Nitte deemed to be university for balance amount. So, one amount will be 1,35,000 for which you are bringing DD. And after that, whatever remaining amount, you have to give the check. And on the back of the check also, you have to write your name, rank and mobile number. So, those are the details to be mentioned on the back of the check check. So that's an important update in this video. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar important updates. Take care and bye.